For cheap and reliable MT, head over to AOA.com and use coupon code JACOB for 3% off. What is going down everybody? It's some beatable Jacob. Picked up this new Amethyst Christos Przingis card. We're going to do a quick review of him, but one thing first, please follow me on Twitch. Link will be in the description. But go ahead and put the stats and badges on the screen for a split second. If you want to check them out, you can go ahead and pause the video. And now we're going to check out how he's moving on the court. So he did get a couple more hot zones than his Sapphire card. That is good to see. Full court dribble sigs behind the back. Nothing great about that whatsoever. This is a far cry from his glitch card of last year. The moving cross isn't absolutely terrible. I definitely would not want to resort to that too often. We'll see how the spin move looks okay yeah so definitely standard for an early game center as far as full court sigs go but let's check out his half court sigs so not absolutely terrible i mean the the step back's good that's going to be the bread and butter right there is stepping back into a three-pointer like so so let's see how his jump shot is pretty standard for a Kristaps card Shooting them all pretty early. Going to have to hold it down a little bit longer to get in that green window. Probably over adjusted there. So yeah, I haven't used Kristaps too, too much in previous 2K. So I am definitely not a phenom with this jumper. Having a tough time even greening just one. But compared to some of the other centers in the game, he's still going to be able to hit at a better clip just based off ratings. So, as you can tell, I am just not that great with his shot personally. That's more of a me problem than a card problem. He's definitely got a decent jump shot. I just have not used a lot of Kristoff's cards, so I don't even know where to find this green window. Um, maybe if I get into his single three-point hot zone, I'll be able to green one. But we're definitely struggling out here to hit. Let me see. Can I green a shot? Like... I'm early, then I'm late. I'm early, then I'm late. So, yeah, this is not going to be somebody that I think I'm going to love to use. But somebody who can figure out this jump shot is I finally green one. Probably will love the card, especially because there's just not all of that many great centers available. He's definitely the only guy over 7 foot with a consistent clip right now. But for me personally... I can't even really say it's a consistent clip. I mean, I would take this over Sam Perkins, but uh, I think I would like to have that pink diamond mic and more as I start finally hitting a few from the corner here. Um, not really, though. So let's check out his post game. Doesn't get a whole lot of separation on his turnaround jumper, but you're probably not going to want to resort to that anyhow. We're going to go ahead and try some of his dunk animations here. As he can't even hold on to the ball. Dunk animations seem good. He's not going to get blocked too often. Seems like he throws down pretty conservative dunks, what I actually like to see. Um, and he's 7'3", so that definitely helps. But if anything, I'm just frustrated with how bad I shoot with him. Um, I don't know what it is. Like I said, it's probably a me problem. If I spent a few few more moments in freestyle trying to get in this green window like I finally am now I probably would be able to get a little more consistent with them but something about the shot just isn't for me and that's okay like there's certain cards that you know I just cannot cannot seem to hit with and it's been like that for ages um we'll try a couple with the aim stick maybe just to see how that's looking I have not been using aim for a while now ever since they patched it from the way it was So yeah, like no matter what I do, I cannot seem to be too consistent of a shooter with Chris Stops here. But that's okay. This card is not for me, but it might be for you. Um, so hopefully you can at least get a pretty good look at how he looks on court. Kind of see how fast he can move compared to um, his Sapphire version. Definitely an upgrade um, over the Sapphire version at the very least. So 
not anything incredible for me but as far as the amount of centers in the game right now goes it might make him actually very very usable for the time being and in the right hands i'm sure this car could probably hit at a very consistent clip so anyways guys i am going to go ahead and hop off after i green one last three which might take an eternity this might turn into a 20 minute video at this rate I'm even in his hot zone, but I just cannot shoot with this card. I don't know what it is, but anyhow, I appreciate it, guys. I also am going to have some more Dribble Sigs out today. Some reviews of the new cards, hoping to get a Paul George for under 100K and do him next. Already to Patty Mills. So anyhow, guys, I appreciate it, and I am out.